Welcome back to my channel guys. It's me Irvin with another uh, manga chapter review. This is uh, definitely manga style. Uh, has a little bit of uh, uniqueness to it. First of all, it is a heart cover. But before talking about all this, let's talk about Yen Press that is uh, supporting me, uh, reviewing these copies for you guys. So if you haven't checked out Yen Press, Yen Press is a great company that has been translating manga and uh, light novels for a while. They're adding comics to their um, list as well, and they're just doing great things left and right. So if you want to buy this particular series, uh, I do have links in the description below where you guys can buy cheap manga and anime support Yen Press. They do a great job. And uh, this series itself is actually very unique. Uh, I will talk about it, what it's about. But before anything else, if you have not done so by now, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I am trying to reach 5k before the year's over. And I think it's very much possible. So make sure you do that. Also check out my other videos, especially the Yen Press reviews that I'll be posting in the next few um, days, even weeks, because uh, I have quite a bit of stuff to review for you guys. So, okay. Tales of the Kingdom. Now, first and foremost, I do want to say that there is a sticker there of warning advisory uh, for mature level. Um, it is definitely not for everyone. And uh, I want to say uh, in the back, it says language, nudity, uh, sex and violence. Um, sex, not really explicit. Nudity, not very explicit. I just want to throw that out. Um, yes, there is some, but it's not as bad as what I've seen in other series before. Uh, they do it very much, uh, in the sense of, you know, what's going on, but still censoring at some level, uh, language and violence. Uh, you know, you get that a lot in these series anyways, the book itself is hard covered. And before I, anything of the story itself, I just want to mention you, you take off the sleeve and it has this beautiful, like old style book type of style you don't have like the the manga style um cover so it is nice in that uh way uh unique in that own way and it is separated into two different stories now uh when i first got this the thing i noticed was that i opened the halfway point and we had color pages in the halfway point and i was very confused i was like okay I guess they decide randomly to put some color pa uh, pages in between, but no, it actually serves as a uh, kind of a breaker of this is story A and this is story B. So there's two stories. The first story follows uh, two twin brothers that are royalty and essentially one of the twin brother is to be king and the other one is considered like his shadow. And you kind of get this whole like survival of the fittest between them and they, they decide that they why why should they fight to see who survives and they kind of escape that and they have a life within each other now we this is where it gets a little weird like they almost seem like they're one and um they can't be separated from each other so much that they start kind of a polygamy relationship with another woman um, and they, 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 them three have a son. Um, and then at one point they realize that they have to be kind of their own persons. So they do separate and uh, the story ends in a weird way. And I think it tries to be poetic in itself. Uh, personally, I'm really interested to see if this is actually an actual story that people have told of ages. It kind of feels like it is, uh, cause it just kind of ends and it, it feels like there is a poetic meaning that should be there, I guess, or should be acknowledged beyond from what we got. The second story is um, about a king's helper, mainly about him, who is been poisoning the king and the king finds out and essentially he tells him, you're gonna see this through and eventually when i die you're gonna kill yourself and it, you kind of wonder like why is he so devoted to the king and then we kind of get a moved back to the time and see how it all started and how he became the king's aide and how 
things progress. Now, this second half, there is some nudity that's a little bit more explicit uh, because the king uh, has multiple women that he um, has within himself. So, um, it is a little bit more explicit. So, I do want to warn you guys that it is, it is there. Um, but it's not too bad. It's a lot of honking out there. Um, anyways, guys, that is basically the whole book itself. And uh, I think personally, both stories are unique in themselves. And I kind of feel like they're stories of a culture itself. I just don't know what culture it is. So go check it out. Like I said, in the link below, there is uh, links where you guys can use and uh, make sure you buy from that link. That way it helps me as well as a producer here on YouTube. Um, the story itself, the second one wasn't actually completed in this book. It, it feels like it was uh, kind of stopped mid midway and will continue eventually uh, throughout the next, I guess, volume. So out of 10, I'm going to give this one a 7 out of 10. It's very unique. It's nice. I love that it's hardcover. Um, the stories themselves are, are pretty interesting. And I feel it's just a collection of different stories within a culture. And if you don't know them, and they're brand new to you like they were to me they just just kind of great to read and just see how uh artistically how different they they draw stuff and also just great great that way so i i will say it is not a starter manga or series uh if you are coming in into manga and you are new to it this might not be for you but it is kind of intermediate uh more you know veteran wise so just throwing that out there in case uh, you have you happen to want to recommend this give it some time so thank you guys so much for watching this again go check out yum price thank you for the love and support and like always don't be strangers see you guys